run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again jumping back into fishing planet. Guys, I just went to Florida, spent the last little bit of my money. I mean, I only got like $1,500 and I just caught my first largemouth bass. The first thing I caught was a trophy largemouth bass. 6.2 pounds, 20 inches. Yo. Yo. That's what's up. Now, I'm, I was concerned about making my money back. This fish by itself is 436. Now, I didn't get as much XP because I upgraded my rod and reel. I got a casting rod and I'll show you that. So I may need to go back down one, but I wanted to make sure that I could handle any big fish. Now, if this is a trophy, this is one of the bigger ones that I will catch. So they're all not gonna be as big as this 6.2. But yo, that's a great way to start here at Florida. Show you what I'm working with. So I got six rods, I've been grinding. So this is my new bait caster, seven foot, 10 inch, saved up, got this. Um, and then I also got this Counselor 3500S reel to match, 22 pounds. The bait casters are anywhere from nine to 24 pounds. So they ready to go. And then this line is 20 test. I'm using a Walker, a half ounce, three op. Now my other spinner that I was using, this was my first spinner, well it's my second spinner, um, but it's only three to 10 pounds. My first was only three to nine. So this one is three to 10 pounds, the Aurora eight foot two inch. I have a primer reel on it, 9.9 .9 pounds. This one is three to 10. I got fluoro 10 point line. That was the closest. I usually fish, I was uh, catching walleye mainly with this. So I was using this narrow spoon, but I have this. I may go down to this one cause it'll still handle uh, three to 10 and that should keep my XP up higher. So again, if I continue to catch fish and lose the XP, then I'm gonna go down to my other ride. I just don't wanna get caught slipping. All right, so I'm using this walker. I'm throwing over here by this boat. Uh, the, oh, look at that. <laughs> look how quick that hit. Now, this, this feels like a much smaller one. I think if I'm gonna go for these large mouth though and stay right here where I'm at, I may go ahead and go down the ride. Yeah, 2.9. Good money, but the XP. So I'm gonna go to my original spinner. Put a walker on this one. Now I only have the one uh, walker because I have the other one on the other um ride so i may have to take it off i'm gonna see what the response is for this one all right and we're gonna walk them bam we got a hit yeah i'm feeling this a little more but this ride still is enough to handle it this is enough to handle these uh these bass what I'm gonna have to be more concerned about is other fish. Once I start targeting other fish, that'll be a little heavier. But this will handle these bass. 3.2, yep. And my XP is back up 40. That's still not a lot. I mean, that's like I said, that's not enough for walleye. When you really wanna grind that XP, walleye is good. But I needed something different. In Florida, they say it does give you a very good payout. I'm able to catch these guys during the day as opposed to just fishing at night in that one night span. You should be able to fish the whole 24 hours. So that'll really maximize on your money. Maximize your earnings. Up, oh, bam, got a hit. Oh yeah, the hits are jumping off. Oh yeah. All right, guys, so when you come in, if you start at this very first pier and you face over here, this is a great spot for largemouth bass. As you saw at the very beginning, I caught a six pound trophy bass right here. And I was using a, a 22 pound ride. You don't really need that much here, 
but a walker is great. I'm gonna experiment with some other bait, but get a walker. The one ot will work just fine. You cast over here by this boat and you just walk it on in. Keep walking it on in. Something will grab it. And then you just gotta worry about getting caught right there at the end. That's gonna keep happening. So we're gonna cast over here right by this boat. A lot of times even to the right of the boat a little bit is good money. I like to get it behind the boat, but to the right works pretty well too. So we gonna just start walking it on in. They see something look like it's walking across the water. Bam, there we go. Got a nice little hit right there near the end. Oh, he jumping. He jumping. Come on in. Come on in. Two and a half pound largemouth. 169. The money is all right. The money is all right. We're going to throw it right back out here again. Because see, right to the right of the boat. Behind the boat, you would think you would get those bigger lunkers. But to the right usually gets me more consistent bites. And I'm using that one arc walker. I'm gonna switch it. I have a three arc, but it's on my other ride. So I gotta free it up. I'm sure there's a way to skip it over these weeds. Or you can throw out here to the right a bit. Right beside those weeds, where you can come straight through, and we're gonna walk it on in. Walk it on in. Look at that, we got a hit. We got us a hit. It's just bass all out here having a good time. Come here. Come on in. Come on in. Nice, 3.2. Not bad, not bad. So I like to go back and forth here by the boat to the right and then by the weeds to the right. And we also can throw over here by these lily pads. We also can throw over here right in this little crease. right past that middle set, right in that little crease. And we gonna pop it, we gonna walk it in. 6 a.m., the sun is shining bright. And this was all first thing in the morning. This is all first in the morning. Look at that, ah, oh, I missed them. Oh, got them, got them. Yeah, this is all early morning fishing. This one doesn't feel too heavy though. Okay, 3.8, not bad, not bad. We can throw it right here in front of the lily pads. Right in front of the lily pad. Look at that, woo! Nice little hit, <laughs> nice little hit. Right there in front of the lily pads. Many we started walking them. Many we started walking them. Come here. Oh yeah, now this one fighting a little bit. This might be a little four or five pounder. Let's see. Butterfly Peacock, okay. 3.4 pounds, 237, nice, nice. So I see the butterfly peacock are hanging over here by these lily pads. Go throw here again. Right here in front, look like they bubbling up. They waiting, the fish are waiting right here. See that popper. Walk 
talking, man. Keep it popping. Keep it popping. Oh, there we go. Nice little hit. Nice little hit. It's another nice peacock bass. guys we're gonna throw back over here by the boat again this is a great place to work with walkers we'll look at some jigs in another video and look at other lure and bait that are good for bass all right guys charles macro fishing planet florida everglades thank you for stopping through and i'm gonna holla at you peace I run the game, I run the game, I run the, I run the macro.